Hi guys, Firebikes here, coming to you with another podcast that for some reason I'm doing yet again because I'm bored. Yeah, I don't know why, but that's just a thing nowadays. Um, because stuff with the coronavirus can't go out, blah blah. I explained this yesterday and yesterday's podcast, but um, yeah, I'm doing these podcasts because I'm bored. Um, so yeah, uh, I quite a few guys wanted like a couple of guests, etc. In this, like in these podcasts. Um, but before I do that, I pretty much need to get a couple of things set up with that. Um, so hopefully that should be within the next couple of days or weeks. Um, so stuff about coronavirus. Well, um, yesterday, like I said, we weren't off school. Um, but as of today. Um, today was the last day of school, um, because, well, it's a Thursday, but school usually finishes, well, it's Wednesday, and it, school usually finishes right about Friday, um, just before the weekend, and the school decided to close early, like, not early, but, like, earlier in the week, because... Of course, stuff with coronavirus, teachers having to self-isolate, and the only reason why we're off is because of the lack of teachers, um, and it's mostly just applying to S1s, 2s and 3s, etc, etc, um, but those who have exams in the next com- coming weeks, um, of course, have to stay because um, you've got like your SQA exams and things like that, you need to revise, etc. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory with exams. Um, but, yeah, um, so I um, feel sorry for those guys. Um, of course, I don't have my exams at the moment, or not for a while, at least. Um, so, yeah, um, we're, we, I, we, I don't know how long we're, all, we're off for, but um, God knows. Um, of course, the whole of uh, the UK or most of Scotland at the moment, a lot of the schools are being closed because you know uh, you don't want kids coming home from school and then potentially spread it on to their parents, etc. Um, stuff like that. Um, I have noticed that it's mostly the elderly or those who are like towards their later stages in life that are most affected because you know the immune systems are most likely. Uh, as to say, weaker than those of us nowadays. Um, but like I said, children, teenagers, um, I'm a teenager, but uh, yeah, we're not as affected as much. So yeah. Um, and then stuff, some more about school. Um, I noticed earlier there was only like 10 people in my English class overall, which was surprising. So we basically finished our essays, um, to one of which I only finished, like, yesterday. Um, was it yesterday? But, uh, yeah, so I finished my essay, um, and then we kind of were allowed to go into laptops, etc. Kind of messed about. Unfortunately, the internet was not working, so, of course, um, I just kind of went on to paint, um, for a while I did a whole bunch of random stuff on that because why not? Um, it's just something you do when you're bored during class. Um, I also had my book with me that day. Um, if you didn't know, I'm continuing on with the uh, reading the whole of the Tolkien or Middle Earth, the universe. Um, of course, I've read The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings trilogy. Um, I've read this on Mami and then I can't really say the word, but... Um, it's the book after, like before the Hobbit and Lothar, um, and then I'm also at the moment reading Children of Hurin, which is based within the Sumerian. Um, so yeah, I kind of brought that. Didn't get on to reading it because I was too busy on laptops. Um, I'm pretty sure my friend had like a goose type of thing, and um, where you go on a monitor or something like that, and yeah, you kind of have a whole bunch of geese about. Um, so that's something interesting, and then also during maths, um, we only had like, well, we had most of the class, but a couple of people, my whole entire table, 
um, was gone, as in not the tables gone, but the people who sat at it were gone. Um, so I was basically the last last one standing um, at my table. Um, so yeah, we also kind of had to do a, a, a test or assessment, however you want to describe it. It was on um, a specific program that we use for these type of things. And yeah, um, my laptop wasn't entirely working. Um, I couldn't accident, access the internet, to one of which has been a problem during school recently. Um, so while everyone else was doing like a, a test, um, you just had a couple of people who were literally just playing with these like puzzles, which were you have like a box and you have like all these pieces and you have to try and make it into a cube and um, to one of which must fit in the box. Um, but yeah, um, if you haven't noticed already, um, of course, this is a new mock. Um, those of you on my Instagram have probably already seen it, but for the those of you who haven't really seen it, um, this is a new mock based off off of the scene from Rise of Skywalker um, on Exegol, where of course you can either have Rey and uh, Palpatine kind of talking, blah blah. All the basically all the action happened there, um, and then you also see it at the start, and yeah. I'm um, sorry, I should have mentioned spoilers, but. Of course, if you haven't seen the last, well, not the last trailer, The Rise of Skywalker already, then what are you doing? You must go and see it. Um, I know it's probably released in the US at the moment, but it doesn't release in the UK, I think, until April, um, which may uh, yet again be uh, delayed because of the coronavirus. Um, as well as the fact that packages might be delayed a bit, but um, so far, with the stuff with the packages. Um, one of the packages has came to the post office. Um, it was delivered to the house, but unfortunately I was away at school, of course, um, and I was unable to get it, so um, I have to, well, we have to try and get it within the next couple of working days. Um, I just, it usually is here in the UK for post office type of stuff. Um, it's, I'm not entirely sure what's in this package, it could either be the one where it was a whole bunch of, well, one kilogram of grey plates and bricks, or it could either be the loter set. Hopefully it's the loter set, um, I, I have to be honest, I'm more excited for getting that set because, you know, it's kind of personal to me, um, whereas, like, plates and things like that, just good for mocks, uh, um, yeah, it doesn't really hold that type of place. Um, so about that uh, loter set, the reason why it was so cheap was mostly because um, it was pre-owned um, and that's the reason why it was cheap, but um, unfortunately, like I said in last podcast, um, it w didn't say whether it was complete or not, but yeah, the images didn't seem to, it had images, but yeah. Um, so hopefully it comes complete. Um, I have noticed that I have got quite a few pieces in my collection. Um, and it's actually all about the place, to be honest. Um, and let's see other things. I kind of run out of topics, but I'm just doing this anyway because I'm bored. Um, I finished the watching the Hobbit trilogy yesterday. Um, I just had a little bit of the Battle of the Five Armies to watch. Um, so you guys, if I haven't seen the Hobbit trilogy at all, then I highly would recommend it. Um, and then I started watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy, um, first of all with the Fellowship of the Ring. Um, I've still to complete what, finishing that, but yeah, um, hopefully I'll be doing that after this. Um, and it's currently 7 o'clock at the moment, but yeah, I would usually watch films around about 8-ish, half past 7, something like that, but I kind of have like a schedule for these things, but yeah, um, stuff with uh, Lotar, I have noticed that um, I haven't, well, how would I describe this? There's scenes, well, for, for starters, Lotar, um, of course, my friend gave it, like, hinted at it the other day, saying that The Lord of the Rings is actually three hours long. Now that's just a substantial amount of time to watch a film, but 
Um, it's a bit like Endgame. Endgame, I think, was like three minutes and like one... Th well, not three minutes. Three hours and one minute... One second long or one minute long. Um, of course, power of unscripted videos or podcasts, which are fun. Um, but... Um, turns out Lord of the Rings is actually three hours, um, which is actually incredible because I really did not expect that. Um, it doesn't feel like three hours to me, but anyway, it's a great film. Highly recommend you watch it. Um, I have, might actually start well doing a little bit more mocks based on it. Um, at one point, I was thinking of doing like the uh, Bridge of Castle Doom, which if you don't know is in the Mines of Moria, and it's a scene where you see Gandalf battling the Balrog, um, to whom of which is the bane of uh, Durin, um, and yeah, it's a really cool scene. Um, I also thought of doing a Baradur at one point, um, potentially after building up Barra, and to whom of which I still not get any progress done, but um. Jeez, this week's went quick, I didn't realise that. Oh god. Um, but anyway, continuing on. Baradur, I, I was thinking about doing that after Ambara. Like, a big, massive Ambara, like, a Baradur mock that'd be extremely high. Um, but, yeah, I don't know whether I'd have enough pieces, but surely with enough piece, well, black pieces from Bara, then I should be able to do Baradur. Um, and it'd be quite cool to see, like, uh, somewhat of an Eye of Sauron. Um, I know I've got a random picture of the Eye of Sauron on my phone, but yeah. Um, and yeah, hopefully with the Orc Forge set coming, um, it should provide me with a couple more Orcs to my collection. Um, so that I can, well, if you didn't know, I've only got, like, two Orc minifigures, which came from the... One of the Hobbit sets, I'm pretty sure it was the one from Battle of Five Armies, where you have Bard the Bowman trying to shoot down Smaug. Unfortun unfortunately, the set doesn't include Smaug. Smaug was only seen in the uh, one of Desolation of Smaug sets. Um, it was really cool. It's still unique to that set. Um, it's really expensive, if you think about it. It's quite hard to get. Um, I remember seeing the set in the Lego store for around about £100, which is around about, like, $105 or whatever. I, I don't know how to... Yeah, I was just, I'm not great at that, but... Uh, well, I'm great at maths, it's just that I can't really be bothered try, like doing all the calculations to make uh, pounds and dollars, but, um, as I was saying, didn't include it, but... Yeah, um... And hopefully that should get a little bit more orcs into my collection. Um, I might actually do a couple of ones based on like uh, like a micro scale. Um, I know there's been a micro scale Minas Tirith, but um, I was actually thinking of doing a Minas Tirith of Rohan, um, which would be quite cool. Of course, it would make include the main hall or the palace, um, and then a core of it will include like a mountain to one of which the palace is sitting on. A couple of small houses and then of course you have the big massive border around it. Um which is just a whole but whole like fencing around the place. Um so very quite cool. Um maybe a micro well I I, I kinda want to do more micro scale nowadays. Um because I kinda find it fun because you of course have this small mock with just an amazing amount of detail that sometimes you can't quite capture within a big build. But, um, yeah, potentially like a Mordor mock um, microscale. Of course, you'd have Mount Doom, Baradur, um, maybe a Tower of Warthank or the Fanghorn Forest, maybe. Maybe a, well, actually a microscale version of Hobbiton or the Shire. Um, I think that would be quite an interesting one because the Shire is actually massive because, of course, you have Hobbiton, which is where, of course, Bag End is and where Bilbo Baggins and Frodo Baggins lives and blah, blah, blah. Um, which is the most seen, 
like part of the shire that you see, but it could also include Farmer Maggot's uh, farm and things like that. But I, I would think it would be a, quite a cool mock. Um, maybe a weather top mock. Now this might not necessarily be micro scale, but it'd be some sort of as to see a what do you call it? Um, hang on. Sorry about that, um, a phone went back on in the background, but um, yeah, as I was saying, of course, um, oh my god, I've lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, weather top, it won't be micro scale, it will be like a like minifigure scale, maybe. Um, of course, you'd have weather top with all the runes. Um, I might try and get like a couple of ring wraith minifigures about the place. Unfortunately, I only own one kind of ring wraith, even though it's not really a ring wraith. Um, because it's not cloaked, um, but it's more or less the Witch King of Angmar, which is part of the nine, um, the nine ring race, yeah. Um, but he's uncloaked, um, it came in a Hobbit set yet again. I think I own around about like three Hobbit sets, and at the moment one Lotor set, as well as a couple of poly bags, but yeah, um, hopefully it should be two Lotor sets, um, if when when that Orc Forge set comes, um, but yeah, um, might also do a couple of micro scale Star Wars mocks, for example, Scarif, Mustafar, Coruscant, as in you might have like the Jedi Temple and the Senate building, and you know all the scenes that you basically see. But I might also kind of include like the underground of Coruscant. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, and then you might have most, I'm pretty sure I've already said Mustafar, but uh, Endor, Endor would be quite cool, um, Death Star, Death Star might be a little bit harder, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I can manage it, just, um, and then Jedi, Tatooine, you know, just all the planets that you see, um, so I, I think that'd be quite cool, um, I, I've only done like a couple of micro scale mocks and I'm pretty sure um, the Minas Tirith was actually one of the ones that I've actually included the most detailed. And by the way, if you didn't know that, so that mock is extremely heavy. Um, it, it may not look like it, but it includes an awful lot of, it packs an awful lot of bricks and like plates and all these details that include into the bulk of it. Um, so it makes it really heavy. Um, and then, of course, did a couple of, uh, what do you call it, photos. Um, I think I did one based on a ring wraith or the Nazgul, as they're also called. Um, and I might also do one based on Frodo with the Shire. Um, include a couple of filters and editing that photo. Um, and then I might also do one with Aragorn outside of Minas Tirith. Um, as in you use Force Perspective to have Minas Tirith, my micro scale mock by the way, um, in the background and then you have Aragorn and like some sort of hill mountain and then you have Minas Tirith in the background and yeah, I think it'd be quite cool if I did that. Um, but that's it for the photography. Um, of course, videos wise, I've still got to show you guys my Droid Decker. So one of which I'll probably just show you here. Um, of course, here's by Droid Decker. Um, it's quite small. It's not entirely minifigure scale. I think it's just a little bit bigger. But uh, yeah, it's got lots of detail on it. Um, weapons, and it can fold up into a ball. It's just a little bit hard at the moment because yeah, but it's actually quite fun rolling it about. And yeah, um, so yeah, still got to do a video on that. Um, of course I'm away in the corner here, uh, and yeah, if you haven't realised already, I'm sitting on that stool again, so I may end up fidgeting with it. <laughs> no idea why, it's just something, and then I might accidentally hit my head at some point with the shelf right above me. Um, the thing about shelves is that if it falls, um, especially when you have a couple of shelves above your head, above your bed, um, it's quite terrifying because at any moment those shelves 
could collapse and then fall on top of your head and so from there you either get a really really bad head injury or you're dead basically um, because quite a lot of weight up there and um, of course you get the wind shelves itself you have a stereo um, a light and then of course you have quite a few Lego sets on top um, one of which is my most prized possessions in terms of Lego sets which is Emperor Palpatine Shuttle but yeah, if it does, then I'm pretty much dead. Um, but, uh, yeah guys, so that's going to be it for this small podcast. Although it's a little bit shorter than last time. But uh, yeah, my phone's kind of run out of space yet again. Um, but yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, maybe for the next time I might try and get a couple more guests on. Um, let my camera focus. Um... But, uh, you yeah guys, of course, check out my Instagram, link to that in the description, um, for exclusive builds, etc. Um, and you guys, if you do like the content you see here, please comment, like, subscribe, check out my other videos, etc. And, you yeah guys, I'm Infernal Bricks, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.